welcome to this video in this video I'll explain how to translate English uh, phrases into uh, mathematical statements similarly how to translate English uh, sentences into mathematical uh, sentences we will also discuss the kinds of uh, various mathematical statements so let me start uh, with the, the translation of uh, uh, mathematical uh, phrases, uh, English phrases into mathematical uh, statement. Uh, to solve mathematic problems correctly, uh, we must be able to translate English language, that is phrases or statements, into mathematical expression or uh, mathematical sentence. Uh, if we could use appropriate use of variables, symbols, operations and notation in translating English language, it will give us correct equation and representation to solve a given mathematical problem. So we must understand how to uh, put it correctly, mathematically. Uh, there are certain examples of translating English language to mathematical expressions and uh, we'll do that one by one. So kindly uh, watch this video up to then. Uh, let me start with the translating English statement or phrases into mathematical expression. Uh, in the left column, uh, we have written English statements or phrases and uh, on the right hand side we can, we can see uh, mathematical expressions. Let us suppose the English phrase is twice a number. So how can we write that uh, mathematically? Let us suppose there may be a number which equals x. Twice is equal to 2. So twice a number will be equal to 2x. So 2x is the mathematical expression of the English phrase of twice a number. Similarly, x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 is the mathematical expression of the English statement, the sum of three consecutive numbers. Let us suppose the three consecutive numbers are 2, 3 and 4 and let b be the first number represented by x, then 2 is equal to x, 3 is equal to x plus 1, and 4 is equal to x plus 2. So we may write that the sum of the three consecutive numbers is x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2. Uh, similarly, we may also write the difference of the squares of two numbers mathematically. And uh, let us suppose uh, that the square of two numbers x square, which is a first number and the second number is y square. Therefore, the difference of the squares of the two number is x square minus y square. Now, we are translating English sentences into mathematical sentences. Uh, in the previous video, in the previous slide, you saw twice a number. Now, we make it a complete sentence and twice a number is 8. Let us suppose we say in English, twice a number is 8. So again, let the number be equal to 8. Sorry, let the number be equal to x. So twice is equal to 2. Therefore, twice a number is equal to 2x. And it means equal. So hence, 2x is equal to 8. So this is a mathematical sentence. Similarly, the area of a rectangle whose length is uh, 9 uh, more than the width. So area of a rectangle is A is equal to uh, length times width. So the length L is 9 more than its width. So L is equal to W plus 9. So A is equal to W plus 9 into W. So this is the mathematical uh, sentence for uh, the area of the rectangle whose length is 9 more than the width. Uh, for any non-zero real number, when raised to 0 is equal to 1. So for all A in the real set, where A is not equal to 0, A raised to the power 1 is equal to 1. Uh, another English sentence is, there exists an element of a real number such that its square is less than itself. So let us suppose x uh, belongs, there exists x which is an element of the real number such that 
x square is less than x. So, this is the mathematical sentence for uh, an element of a real number such that its square is less than itself. Uh, there are certain types of mathematical sentences. The first one is the universal statement. The universal statement expresses an idea that is true for all the elements in a set described. It uh, commonly used the word all for all, for every, for each symbol. An example is all negative numbers are less than zero. A conditional statement is another statement which expresses a conditional idea that if one thing is true, then some other thing also has to be true. It commonly uses the word if then or if and only if are the symbol I double F if. And uh, we may give an example. If a number is even, then it's multiple, then it is a multiple of two. And that's correct. So this is a conditional statement. Then there is an existen existential statement which expresses an idea that may or not be true or at least one thing for which the property is true. It commonly used word there exists uh, in symbol. Uh, this is the symbol for there exists. This one. This symbol stands for there exists. And uh, the example would be there exists a prime number that is even. So this is an existential statement. Uh, then there are certain types of mathematical sentences. For example, the sum of two even number is even. This is universal statement. There exists a sum of two real numbers that is less than five. This is existential statement. If a number is zero, then it's a multiple of uh, uh, five and ten. This is conditional statement. Uh, some examples of false mathematical statements. For example, every decimal number is a rational number and uh, that is a, a universal statement. There exists a number when divided by itself equals zero. This is just an existential statement. If x plus 7 is equal to 7, then uh, x is equal to minus 7. This is a conditional statement. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope uh, you found it uh, interesting and uh, useful. I will continue to upload uh, other videos for you. Uh, kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you could get regular notification about my other videos that I will upload for you. Kindly share various videos of this channel in various WhatsApp groups with